Welcome back. So when I ordered this truck, which it was a special order, my name's on the window sticker. I picked out which options I wanted and what options I didn't. One of the options that to this day, I have no idea why I didn't get was the factory bed lighting. It was a super cheap option at the time. I kicked myself in the butt all the time for not doing it. I don't know why I didn't get it. Um, but able to source the OEM kit to retrofit the bed lights. Um, so all the holes are in the bed already. And this kit comes with both lights, the switch, a bunch of zip ties, some miscellaneous hardware, some heat shrink tubing, and a whole harness. Now, the harness is gonna be needed depending on what I believe is gonna be the trim level of your truck. So my truck's a Laramie, and all the wiring is there already underneath the bed to plug in the bed lights. So I will not be running this. So if you need help doing that, I'm sorry, but not gonna help. But if you have a truck that has all the wiring there, it's gonna be real cut and dry to go through and install these, but we're gonna show you that. So I'll show you the plugs underneath. We'll get all this stuff mounted up and this should be a quick, short little video and short little project that will definitely help out. You know, just, I got a tunnel cover, my bed's a mess, but whatever. Um, tunnel covers always closed. You reach into the bed, it's it's dark out, you need light, you're pulling out your phone for a flashlight, whatever. Or even hooking up to the gooseneck at night. The, uh, the camera up top does a good job and the cargo light does a good job, but it's really tough at night if it's real dark out to see where you're backing up. Kind of first world problems right now. You have a camera for your, your gooseneck, that must be nice. But um, you know how it is. So let's get underneath. I'll show you where these plug in. Um, actually, we're gonna start off on top and we're gonna put them in first and that way we only have to go up and down, not six times. All right, we're just gonna take a little plastic pry bar here and pop out this cover. Just like that. We can take our switch and feed it down through into this hole. Wires go down and there is a little indicator up top that would uh, prevent it from going in the wrong way. And that's just a snap fit right in there. These lights do have a left and a right, and they say L and R on the back of them. So left side is going to be driver side, right side is going to be passenger side. You have these little snap-in hardware here that has a seven millimeter head. So we will insert those into place after we take the hardware out. Just like that. that one and uh, when these get tightened up they will uh, kind of pull in and shrink and that's how they're gonna tighten up so that's why right now that they're they're all floppy but once the lights go in you should be all set so we have a, uh, a left right here which I don't like that hardware that's a uh, that's kind of weird That does not seem right, so I'm going to go grab some washers for that. It's not, not quite right. Alright, so I got some screws that um, I think they're number 10 size screws pan head with the security torques on these are what i use to hold the mud flaps on i just had some spares drill out the hole there so that they'll fit and uh let's give these a shot and see if these are long enough oh yeah much better and i like that better too the uh the Torx head kind of matches the rest of the hardware that I have on the truck, and uh, they fit a lot better. So, nothing's ever easy, you know. You figure a factory install 
wouldn't be that big of a deal. But here's a good reason to do it yourself and not bring it to the dealer because I bet you the dealer wouldn't put that much attention into these. See these little tighten up. Oh yeah, that's that's a lot better. I like that. All right, let's do the same thing on the other side. All right, so there's a close up of the screws and the washers that I use, and the install of the switch is all set there. So we'll go underneath the truck now, and we'll show you the plugs and get everything plugged in. All right, so down under, here's the two plugs that came down, and then right on this piece of the bed, there's these two plugs here that are capped off. Um, these are two opposite plug-ins. One's male and one's female, so you only get plugged in in one spot. So you'll take off the caps that are there, and then there's a hole right there that you'll put one of the Christmas tree pins in to help secure it, and I'll probably throw an extra zip tie up top, and then I'm gonna throw a little bit of dielectric grease on the plugs as well, um, just because that's that's what habit I'm in to, uh, to get that. You know, when I'm doing electrical stuff, I try to put a dielectric in it if I can. Just so you don't have to worry about it, it helps it come apart, helps prevent corrosion getting in there and all that. Um, not really enough room to get camera set up under here right now, so I'll catch back up with it when I get everything plugged in. All right, got them both plugged in. Um, the one for the switch here has a little red release tab. Just gotta make sure that you push that back in when you plug in uh, the connector. The other ones just have a little push tab here that you pull off and then clip back on. Um, I threw a zip tie up on this side. The other side looked pretty good, but it's the same. It's just you only have the one wire coming down just for the light. Um, so the next step is that we have to enable and turn on these lights in, uh, in the body computer. We'll be using Alpha OBD for that. Um, right now they're in, but they won't turn on because the computer doesn't know that they're there. So we'll get Alpha hooked up and get them turned on. All right, so Alpha OBD is hooked up. I've gone through this before as far as step-by-step -step and a couple other videos. But as far as which option we're going after, it's going to be under car configuration change. Try to get rid of the glare there. And then select option. And then it's going to be under the 2014 CBC config IOs. And there's going to be one that's right here. It says truck bed light feature. And select value is going to be present right truck bed lighting feature is now present hit start current status is not present click next to change click next procedure completed and we're just going to back out and shut the key off and we'll give it a couple minutes to uh kind of go through everything it usually takes a couple minutes for uh the programs to set and we'll go see if we have bed lights now all right, we are also going to do bed light switch input present um, because the truck is a 2018. It has that option available. I don't believe the older trucks do because I think 2018 was the first year that had the option for the switch in the bed. Um, the rest of them was just off of the cargo light switch inside the cab or when you lock and unlock your, uh, your truck. So select value, I'm gonna hit yes, hit start. Current status is no, switching to yes, click next. Procedure complete, back out, key off. All right, so you go in, press the button, cargo lights turn on, top light turns on, press again, it's off. And then if you have it set up, when you unlock, cargo light comes on and bed lights come on. So everything works, which is sweet. Um, that's going to be it. Like I said, depending on what your, your truck is, you may or may not be able to enable the switch. But regardless, it should still work with the switch in the cab and when you lock and unlock the truck. So that's going to be it. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you later.